Yes, yes, how's it going guys? Hope you are well. We are back at the Canton Fair for phase three. For those of you who don't know, this is the largest import-export exhibition in the world. The Canton Fair is over three phases. Uh, right now we're in phase three, so the main categories are uh, medical, fashion, apparel, sport, travel, outdoor, bags, cases, office supplies. And when I say office supplies, you're gonna see it, we're gonna go inside, you're gonna see like two or three hauls of just those products. We're gonna get a lot of new product ideas, we're gonna meet a lot of different suppliers. So let's go in. It's been a great fair so far. I want to show you inside what you need to do, what you need to know, and we'll go check it out. So before you come to the Canton Fair, if this is your first time here, you definitely want to pre-register for your badge online, and that way you can just fill out all your company information, things like that, so it's quite seamless. So when you get here, you can go to the entrance of Hall A, and I think there's like 15 hotels that you can also collect your badge from as well. The Westin connected to the fair is one of them. And obviously, if you have been to the Canton Fair before, then your existing badge works every time, so if you do have it, just bring this with you. That's my badge here with from 2010, so you can see my uh, Justin Bieber uh, hairstyle. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to bring this hairstyle back. And then once you're in, the type of essentials that you should have with you, number one, you're going to be doing a lot of walking, so you need comfy shoes, uh, whether they be like trainers or whatever. As you can see, there's not really like a, a, a dress code here, you can wear whatever you want. You can wear a suit and tie, you can wear a t-shirt, jeans, whatever you feel comfortable with. The most important things with these guys is that you're serious about doing business and placing orders, so you can wear uh, whatever you like, but just be comfortable. Uh, I also like to always bring a notepad with me as well. It's very, very important that, because you're going to meet like hundreds of suppliers, right? You're going to have so many conversations. You're going to take photos on your phone, but you're going to forget who you talked to, what you talked about. So very, very important to bring a notepad to kind of like take notes of everything that you discussed, everything you talked about. And then also just staple their name card uh, with all your meeting notes as well. So you remember who you talked to, what you talked about, what was the pricing, what were the discussions. And then on top of that as well, just make sure you have a fully charged phone before you come to this fair as well, because you're going to take a lot of photos uh, of the booths with the suppliers uh, of the products. And uh, you're going to be making a lot of notes, referring back to emails and things like that. So maybe bring a power bank uh, with you as well. Apart from that, bring a smile on your face, a good attitude, and then let's go check out some of the homes. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you come to the Canton Fair, if it is your first time, you're gonna to head to the information booth. Now I've done over 23 Canton Fairs and this is the first time that I've been here. They've actually expanded, they've added a new Hall D, so they've moved things around a little bit. But I would just grab one of these bar guides, one of these maps, and it's very, very important to plan your day to know, right, what sort of products do you want to find, what suppliers do you want to find, and where they will be. So inside on the first page, you can see the phase one, two, and three, the dates that those shows go on, and then what categories of products. So obviously just ensure that your category of product is on display for the phase that you're at. But then you can see the map here in terms of the halls A, B, C, D, and then every single category of product. But always grab a guide, head to the information, they're very friendly, very helpful. Grab a few of these, plan your day, and we'll head into the hall. in the middle of hall 5.1 and this is really really cool because like coming down the middle you get a good idea of what's on display and what type of products they're going to specialize in this hall so this particular one is clothing uh, more sort of fashion orientated and let's say fashion is not your thing but you want to get a better understanding of what's available here what's new what sort of products what materials what colors are in trend what eco-friendly things they've got going on i would always just walk down the middle to get a good idea but if you want to go really really detailed then i would do each lane one by one and go into every single Single booth for the ones that you're interested in and uh, meet the suppliers build up your contacts you know talk about prices show your spec sheets so just have a plan and have an idea for your day in terms of what you want to accomplish I would maybe select three categories that I'm interested in where I'll do all the hauls and you're gonna do a lot of steps and then maybe the ones that you're not so interested in but you're a little bit curious about then just walk down the middle to get an idea of what goes on in this hall maybe visit a few suppliers pick up a few name cards so that if later on down the line that's something that you want to do then you also have at least have a contact information where you can say I met you at the Canton Fair and then you can talk about any sort of new product developments that you have later on down the line Here we go. So as you're doing all these meetings, right, you're gonna do like 
hundreds of them per day. So it's really, really important to have a photo with your supplier, but also with their name card in it as well. So you can zoom in and have their contact details in case you ever lose that card or your notepad. Uh, as well as the booth number as well. Every corner of every booth has got their number. It's really, really important to write that down as well because quite often you want to go back the next day like we just did there. And I'm like, right, I want to go see and talk in more details. I want to ask for better pricing or exclusivity agreement or something like that. And if you have the booth number written down, you can just go straight there. But if you're like, oh yeah, I remember they were in um, Hall B and I think it was either Hall like 13 or 12, it can honestly take you hours to find a company, especially if they're out in the back. So always get a photo of the booth number, the business card, and the person all together, and it'll make your life a lot easier. So I'm just gonna take you into the booth of one of my very, very good suppliers, very, very good friends, and uh, let me just show you like a typical conversation that we would have. And uh, Eddie, how's it going? Good to see you. Hi. Good to see yeah, you, Eddie. Nice, nice to see you, see you again. Nice how you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay. So Eddie's Every time I come to the Canton Fair, he's always got such an amazing booth. His uh, booth is always well decorated, lovely colors, new products, and uh, I always get inspired and excited every time I come. So, uh, Eddie, why don't you tell us a little bit about the, the new products that you have on display for, okay, for this okay. year's Canton Fair? Yeah, yeah. First of all, we have very nice collections with uh, all new colorways. You can see brand new branding, uh, a lot of new colorways, and of course, also styles and materials has been uh, selected mm -hmm. and it's uh, the update uh, materials and also we do a lot of recycled one which is the top uh, popular story now. Th th this is really cool because uh, recycled materials is something that's becoming very very popular now but I can tell you at the last Canton Fair in 2019 you also had the recycled yeah, we materials. Start with it. Yeah, we start with so, it. so something that Eddie's very good at is he's always ahead of any trend so I always like to come to him to get ideas because uh, the, the good thing about Eddie is that he's very, very knowledgeable about the marketplace because not only is he based in China, but he travels a lot as well. And Eddie goes to visit all his customers. And we've met yeah. many times uh, yeah. in yeah. Europe yeah. Uh, before as well. Also trade shows. Trade shows as well. Yeah. So Eddie basically develops very, very good products by traveling a lot, visiting customers and getting an, an understanding of what his customers require. And then he can develop the latest products. And then that's why he's able to get a lot of good uh, customers at this show. So why don't we have a quick look at the, the yeah. recycled um, yeah, go this way. Is first. this all recycled here? Yeah. We present to our customer some recycled team to help our customer to understand it. We have some labels, of course, some certificate, uh, a label, and also some special hand tags. Yeah. Yeah, and also some uh, uh, some board to explain. I really like this because it says I used to be a bottle. So yeah. can, can you maybe explain that process that you acquire the the, the raw materials from uh, bottles which have been captured and then sent to yeah. a plant yeah. and they're, they're washed, shredded, melted and turned into pellets to yeah. then turn into polyester yeah. fabric uh, and you use that polyester on your products. The production uh, of recycle must be certificate and also been, um, it's a whole system. So the, the bottle been recycled and been made with yarns. Mm. That's one kind of factory. Yeah. And they supply yarn to an oven factory where they make into fabrics, yeah. and after that a dyeing factory diet, then supplying to a coating factory, and they will make a final products. Right. And, and all these factories must be certified because it, you will not see the difference between yeah. a regular new products and a recycled one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also the production one. Our factory has been uh, also checked and certificate proof for these products. So that's why we are able to provide to our customer a the hand -tech, yeah. also a certificate and it's, this product is 100% recycled. And it's a global recycling standard, which is just the certification yeah, which you use. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, the, you know, the cost difference is actually not so much between polyester material and recycled I would polyester. Say now the 6%. Yeah. And then, out of interest, you know, customers with, that you meet at the Canton Fair, are they more interested in the recycled material or the regular material? Of course, they are interested in, and for European market, three years ago, as we we talked at the beginning, there, there were a lot of interest. Mm. Now it's getting popular. Yeah, yeah. Some of our customers, like a big customers, already uh, decide that there's a percentage. 40%, mm -hmm. 30% yeah. or 50% products must use this uh, yeah. RBT material. And Eddie, so how, how many Canton fairs have you been to? 
Ah, I started in 1993. 1993? Yeah. Wow. 30 years already. 30 years. And yeah. how, how has been your feeling of the Canton Fair over the 30 years? How has it changed? How has it grown? Uh, and how has it affected your business? Yeah, um, it's more international. Mm -hmm. It's more open. It's much more bigger. Mm -hmm. And most people uh, come in. I remember in 1993 when I came, that was still in the old part of the Canton Fair. And very special, uh, small building and our only uh, special company has license. Yeah. Import export. Mm -hmm. Now it's more direct customer coming here. Mm -hmm. And of course it's bigger and more factories and more companies uh, expect there. I think this is the number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's great because, um, you know, my, my father actually introduced me to Eddie because my yeah. dad was doing what I do before I did yeah, it. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah. they've been doing business together for many years. I think I met your father here in Canada Fair in 1995 or 96. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Long time ago. So we've been doing business together for such a long time. Eddie's a very, very reliable friend in China as well. Not only just like business, but whenever I have a question, I can pick up the, the phone and call him anytime. And, yeah. you know, we, we meet each other around the world. So Canton Fair is not only a place where you can do business, but where you can make very, very good friends as yeah. well for the long term. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Eddie, thank you so much. It was great to see you. And thank you for showcasing your booth. And uh, I can't wait to see you again You're soon. Welcome, always. Thank you, Eddie. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. So I just wanted to show you a quick example there. Like, look how easy it was. Look how much fun it was just to go into the different booths. And like, if I meet a supplier today for the first time that I've never met before, like just go in and, and, and have fun and just talk to them about, hey, how's life? How's business? Uh, how's family? Uh, what new products have you got here? What are new things are you working on? What are the new trends? How has the Canton Fair been for you so far? Have you received many orders? Just ask questions, have fun, build up the relationship don't feel like any pressure that you have to place orders or anything like that just have fun with them and a lot of people that i've met at this canton fair um, and previous canton fairs like maybe we don't do business together immediately but we keep in touch by email and maybe two or three years later we start doing the business together so just get to know each other become friends exchange information have fun and uh, it will develop into a very good long-term business andrew my guy hi. good to see you how are you hi good to see you good to see, good to see you, you. Good long see time you. long time how's things yeah. right now it's okay yeah. So that's okay? Yeah, yeah. come a lot of people. Yeah. You're, uh, you're displaying some very, very nice products here this year. Yeah, yeah. What's, um, what's some of the new stuff that maybe you've got going yeah, on? Yes, this year we have, uh, have new chairs and some like this kind of uh, blankets. You can see here, puffy blankets, chairs, and uh, you know, we do a lot of towers mm. before, like, yeah, similar. Uh, and also we have some like backpacks here. Backpacks yeah. here, and here, and it is a portable. The pocket like this small. Yeah, yeah. And this here, what we have new is like this kind of, uh, like this kind. Oh, cool. Yeah. Will you, will you dress it? Yeah, should I try? Yeah, yeah, try yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's maybe a little bit hot. Uh, for yeah, it for is when you go to surfing, you know. Oh, okay, cool. I like it. It matches the badge. <laughs> Match, right? Yeah, yeah. It's cool, right? It's cool, it's cool. Yeah. So, um, Andrew's a supplier I've been working with for many, many years, and we actually started uh, doing the, the towel business together. Yeah. And it's really, really cool to see how much uh, Andrew's business has grown because Thank you started you. with the towels, but then coming up with really, really cool concepts. Actually, after visiting the factory, seeing how good he is at what he does and all the big, big brands that he manufactures for, and then he was able to transition into uh, more products, very nice packaging, very nice colorways, then using the same sort of uh, workers, which are very, very good with their hands and their stitching, to then develop more products like this as well. And it's always great to come and see you and see your business grow and grow and grow. <laughs> and um, we, we collaborated together on the, on the NBA products. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so very good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, Andrew made a lot of really cool products with the Lakers, Boston Celtics, Miami Heat, Chicago Bulls, a lot of cool stuff. So it's always great to come and see you uh, and, and, and see your company. So congrats uh, on all the success so far. How have you found uh, the fair now? You know, we're back after like three years. Are you excited to see? Yeah, you know, uh, during the COVID-19, it is uh, uh, very quiet here, but now it's okay. And uh, many foreigners come, many big companies come here to buy things. Uh, it's uh, come normal. It's now mm. yeah it's very good yeah yeah and uh, out of interest like how, how do you feel like the um, the orders the the orders are they bigger now at this show or really bigger before at previous canton yeah. fairs compared to last year's and the year before last year's it's uh, it's going better right now yeah, mm. yeah. but uh, compared to uh, the 2019 
uh, it's similar. And uh, how, how important do you think it is to uh, meet the customers face to face rather than oh, online? It is very, very important to meet the customer. You know, you can feel it by meeting. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, if it is honest uh, or, or you know in not honest uh, mm. and uh, how you can trust him yes, mm. it is very important to see the you can feel the products you know with a picture it is hard to figure out it is a, I, I I couldn't yeah. feel the warmth of this in the <laughs> yeah. picture but I can sure. wear it and I'm like hey you know maybe sure. I'm interested in this so and then we can talk about the printing yeah. the packaging everything yeah. so sure. and then tonight we go for a dinner together we have a laugh like smoking it's a live this, right this is a uh, chicken but uh, in black color okay why is it in black are you sure it's uh, chicken yes more delicious mm. oh, okay. <laughs> The chicken is dead or alive? <laughs> because honestly, I think sometimes you put it in here and then you just cook it in the soup. No, 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 it's, no, it's good. And then we talk about more products, we do more yeah, business. Yeah. So, yeah. Andrew, always great seeing you. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thank to see you. you. Thank you. So, one thing I like to do every Canton Fair is always come and check out the Design Award Hall. And this is basically the Canton Fair awarding any suppliers or any manufacturers which have come up with a new innovative design or product. So, let's have a quick look inside. Sometimes we get some inspiration. They have the company's booth numbers and company details there anyway. So if it's something that you like, you can just go and find that company and contact them. But you might get an idea to be like, all right, I want to innovate and add that on top of my product as well. So let's just see what type of stuff they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find some new inspiration. All right, so we've got some uh, military boots here. And I'm guessing that this has got some sort of uh, lighting device to it. So we've got um, the upper is made of imported cowhide, da -da -da -da, Kevlar. Uh, water repellent, friction resistant, breathable, uh, and then that's the booth number of the company if you want to sort of find out more. This is some design in terms of like wood and matte finish. So this is really cool. We've got an electric towel rail. So you know a lot of people hang their like t-shirts and towels and all that uh, on, um, on the radiator, but this one they've just added these little hooks so it doesn't need to stick uh, to the sort of radiator uh, or the heater board. And, just, and that's actually a really, really cool product design and product development because something so simple of just adding a hook and that's not something that even costs too much. That's why I like to come here just to get some ideas and, and inspiration as well. So this is more my thing, uh, definitely with the bags. I've actually been to visit this factory before as well. They're in Hangzhou, really, really cool company. They actually specialize in furniture shares, but they've won some sort of design award for this and I'm guessing it's to do with they have a first aid kit attached to the hip belt of the backpack and I'm guessing it's gonna be some sort of quick access. So that just first aid kit, when you're wearing this bag, that'll be on your hip pad. So you can literally just flick that up and that's completely waterproof top handle as well. So that's actually quite cool. Just such an easy little uh, feature to add, which will solve a lot of problems as well. And that doesn't also have to be a first aid kit. It could be anything, whatever sport that you're into. If you need some quick access in a side compartment, they just, added this little clip to the hip belt, which was really, really cool. We've got a standing desk, but it's also got a little screen here as well, so we can actually raise and lower the desk just with the touch of a button on the screen, which is quite cool. Nice little wooden material as well. And uh, they have a little guide book as well, so any sort of uh, additional information about the awards, you can grab that here as well. So we could be here all day. Uh, but just as a reminder, always check out the awards hall, get some new inspiration, new product ideas, and if you see anything that you like, just go visit that supplier uh, as well. Oh, how's it going, man? How you doing? Nice to see you, man. How you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not bad. I'm Jay. Oh, yeah. nice to meet you, man. Just take a picture with you? Yeah, yeah, of course, man. Uh, Here's the man. <laughs> I've been following Kian channel for about, about the same time. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. oh cool. Yeah. He's the man for all your social needs. This is kind of like the main meeting point or sort of a directional point of the Canton Fair because we've got halls A that way, B that way, and C that way. And they've actually, for this fair, they've added a hall D, four new halls, right? So that's a, a good place to check out as well. But if you ever want to meet someone, this is kind of like the, the middle point. If you want to get to the Western Hotel, which is where I normally go uh, to get a taxi, because like if you just go to one of these halls and take a taxi out the outside, the queues are horrendous. But it's always quick and easy to get one at the Western. So I always go here, uh, Area C, Western, downstairs. And also same, if you need to use a nice bathroom in a five-star hotel, you want to use the Western as well. So here you want to take the little golf cart, so they'll take you there, or they have the walkway as well. You can check that out. But yep, this is the middle. Uh, let's go check out Area B. There's a cool supplier I want to show you. Uh, we'll go ch check them out, and then we'll head down that way as well to get the taxi out of Western.
Right, so one of the c companies you're going to come across, right, are companies that do like a little bit of everything. So you've got this gym company here, Iron Master, and they've got like yoga mats, they've got bike machines, they've got ab rollers, uh, all sorts of different types of fitness equipment. And like that's not necessarily a factory which makes all those different products. So that's more like the trading company using loads of other different factories. And a lot of people think, well, if I get the best, uh, if I work for a trading company, I won't get the best price. I should be working directly at the factory. But in actual fact, like trading companies manufacture for loads of different companies. And if you just want to talk to one company, one person, and they can go and source loads of different products for you on your behalf, it's better to work for a company like that. But if you just want to work with one factory that specializes in one product and you want the best price, then go direct to the factory and always basically price up the product from here and then also from another factory which only makes that product. This type of company can make your life a lot easier because they can offer you everything that you need, but they might not always be the best price. But always worth checking them out. That's just something to be mindful of, that if you see a company that does everything, definitely get it priced up because you could find better prices elsewhere if you go to the factory which just specializes in that particular product. And always ask them when you go in, are you a trading company or are you a factory? And learn about what they have factories for. Two of the products they might have a factory for and the other six they might outsource. So just definitely ask them what their capabilities are, what their core products are, what do they specialize in, and then you can make better informed decisions. Hello, good to see you. Louis Shu, right? Louis or Louis? Louis. Louis, so the because some people say Louis and the S is silent, but um, but you, you, you're Luis like, or Louis, 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 Spanish. Yeah. Why? Because I, I was being Brazil. You were in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, what, what, in, in Rio or Sao Paulo? Sao Paulo. Oh, cool. For business or so for pleasure? My name will be the name uh, Portuguese. Oh, Portuguese. So I, I'm guessing you went to see a customer there and then you're like, I love Brazil. I want a Brazilian name. Yeah, always. And then Luis was born. We have many clients in Brazil, Spain, uh, Portugal. Portugal. Cool. Um, so you like football? Cristiano Ronaldo? Neymar? Cool. Um, I, I really wanted to showcase some more of your products because we came here yesterday uh, yeah. and I really, really liked your product, your stand, your booth, your visuals, your demonstration. So maybe we could take a look at the products again and uh, have a quick chat about it. Um, I just think that suppliers done a fantastic job at demonstrating their product capabilities because you can see a lot of booths through there and it just looks like a lot of the same stuff. But as you walk past this booth, they've placed a lot of effort in the visualization of what their product materials and product components are. So like this one's really, really cool, right? So it's showing that they take the ground coffee beans and actually w w after talking to them yesterday, we found out that like they actually just buy the waste coffee material. Uh, it gets collected from coffee shops and stuff like that and it goes to like one central source and they buy it from that source and buy all the waste coffee, but they mix that with like plastic pellets and other materials and polyester and things like that, depending on what the product is. And then they make this final material, which then gets turned into coffee cups, coffee notepads, um, pens, all that sort of fun stuff. But then because it's maybe 20% or 40% or 50% of the material comes from coffee, the products are also a little bit degradable, so they're not gonna last very, very long. But because of that, they've given you loads of other materials as well. Something I found really, really interesting is that they do stone paper as well. And uh, you can see that up here, like what the notepads look like. They've gone for that stone look. They actually had the, the products here. This paper can, uh, can stretch like so that's pretty cool that it's, it's a lot tougher paper, right? Whereas normal paper would just tear apart. So quite a cool selling feature, whether people will requ require that maybe like in um, emergency situations, like maybe a first aid kit if you're on a boat or something like that, you need to write something down quickly. It's better to have like tougher paper, um, but just a cool selling feature as well, right? And also because it's made from these materials, it's got a cool story to it, right, as well, right? And you feel like you're helping the environment as well by reusing materials. But we've also got corn, we've got wheat straw, we've got cork, and probably bamboo is a really cool one as well, uh, because that's just, um, that's a material that's used in a lot of different products, but I didn't really think we would see it in notepads and pens and key rings and stuff like that. So uh, you, can, you can always decide what percentage of these materials you want to include in your products, based on the shelf life of it. And obviously it adds cost to it as well. We learned that the bamboo material was double the cost of the coffee material. So based on the cost that you, you want to achieve, you might want to include uh, different components that way as well. So this is a classic example of, this is the stationary and office supply hall, and you're just expecting to see pens and notepads. 
but they've taken a product which exists already, but innovating to it just by changing the material, right? So think about your product and um, is it an old product? Is it something that's just continually selling year by year? Well, what materials can you change to that existing product to make it more relevant to sell in 2023 and 2024? So out of interest, out of all the eco-friendly products you have here, I can see coffee, stone, mm -hmm. wheat, cork, bamboo. Mm -hmm. uh, you have our pet material up there. Which has been like the most popular material that the, that the customers are interested in? The most popular, I think, is now is easy for us and for customers for bamboo, wood, the bam yeah, uh, natural material. Yeah, natural material. And, and that's actually quite good because bamboo is probably the strongest material out of these as well, right? Because the coffee um, and, and these types of material are certainly a little bit like degradable, like after a few years, maybe the quality, mm, can, but they, they, the quality can decompose a little bit, which is okay for a notepad because a notepad only lasts a certain amount of time. But if it's something that you want to last a long time, maybe you want to go for the bamboo material mm -hmm. uh, because it's stronger. And then out of interest, so you have the coffee one and you have the bamboo one. Mm -hmm. what, what's the sort of price difference between making a bamboo notepad and, and a coffee notepad? Bamboo is a much expensive. More, more expensive, yeah? Yeah. Like roughly like 10%, 20%, 50%? Maybe double. Double, double, okay, cool. Interesting. Is it the same machinery that you use for like the bamboo material and for the coffee? Like you just put in different ingredients or no, is it different machine? Different, different machine. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure to, to visit your booth. I hope you have a very, very successful Canton Fair. I hope you have uh, many new customers and uh, build a business. And uh, hopefully, you know, we can send some customers your way as well. We'll definitely see you at the next Canton Fair as well. Thank you. All right, so if you want a quick little coffee to escape the fair, right, there is a little hidden one, semi-hidden, that I like to go to. So it's right up there, and um, you always go there for a nice little espresso. They know how to make coffee properly. It's nice and strong, uh, but you just take the elevators from up there, walk along, and there's a nice little coffee shop. So if you ever want to have a nice little meeting with a supplier, take some alone time, listen to some music, catch up on your notes, you get a nice espresso up there without the busyness of the fair. And you can just look down, it's very calming and peaceful. So definitely check it out. So this is really cool, because as we're walking down the hall, this like display at the side of the booth is really, really eye-catching because I was immediately drawn to it because it focuses a lot on sustainability and again, uh, ocean waste and how they're using renewable plastic that they're uh, gathering from the oceans and turning that into products. So that's a really, really cool story uh, with your products that you can mention. And they also show like who their partners are and who they work with, the brands that they work with and then who is the certification uh, responsible for the recycled products that they have. So I've gained a lot of information about this company before even jumping into the booth. So maybe let's, uh, let's go inside, let's take a look and let's see what they, uh, what they have to offer. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? I'm Kian. I'm nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, you have a very, very nice booth here, Thank very, you. very nice products. Um, Thank you. Because now we're looking at uh, office supplies mm -hmm. and um, you also have eco-friendly products yeah, as well. So what, what, what is this uh, plastic bank and, and social plastic and how are you incorporating this recycled material uh, into your products? I, I think maybe you had already checked with the wall. Yeah, yeah. A, a little information, but actually the plastic bank is a company which is located in Canada. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, and they have six branch that's in the, the world. That's the certification, right? Yeah. And, uh, Totally, they have more than three uh, thirty thousand people in all the world. Wow! Yeah, who collect the bottles, waste, plastic from the ocean. And you gather the materials. Yeah, people can exchange bottle mm. or plastic to money, to rice, to food, and the plastic bank then collect all the bottles together and ask the local factory to reproduce to raw material. Mm. Then we import this raw material to factory make a product again, that means reuse. That's really cool, congratulations. Yeah. So which type of products are you now making with this recycled uh, plastic? Yeah, Maybe like let's this. take a look. Yeah. yeah, like this. This is, we totally have four recycled items, recycled um, material. One is uh, recycled, P means from the bottle, mm. waste bottle. Yeah, then we injection to pen, to staple, to member pad, to paper dispenser, mm. yeah. And out of interest, what's the cost difference between like normal plastic and the RPET plastic? Okay, because uh, if it's recycled, you need some human to do a lot. So yeah. the price will be a little higher. The process is more, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But 
another very important thing is we call it ocean bond plastic, mm. which means our sea is much more polluted. polluted. Yes, yeah, so you're, yeah. you're gathering from the ocean yes, okay. and using that plastic. So yes, that yes. process is more time consuming. Yeah. Yes, yes. So this is the product we used for long, recycle PET. So the cost difference, do you think in material, uh, maybe 20% or 10% um, or? Depends on the products. Uh, sometimes it's five or 10%, mm. yeah. So not too bad. And another one is uh, Plastic Bank have app. Mm. You can check. Who are the accredited manufacturers? Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. You, if you give me all the like this, this one, you can go to the Plastic Bank app and check this order from which sea. Maybe this is from Indonesia. Wow. You can check. So yeah. you can see where the, which oceans the plastic yeah. bottles were gathered to then turn into the products. Yes, of course. That's right. really cool. Yeah. And uh, how many years have you been coming to the Canton Fair? 10 years. More than 10 years? Yeah. Where, where, when was your first Canton Fair? Oh, I think at uh, maybe 2010. Me too. Me too. I, 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 I was also 2010, uh, oh, November. So this is my like 23rd Canton Fair, oh, something like that. So yeah. Where are you from? Uh, UK. UK. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. UK. So, uh, how, how is your feeling about the Canton Fair? Like, um, you, you've seen it since 2010 up until 2023, so 13 years. Mm. How has the Canton Fair um, improved your your business? Uh, well, in my idea, it's uh, recently because you know, in China, in Vietnam, maybe in, in, in India, a lot of factory. Mm. Re recently, it is not important. You can make what. We, you, what you can make, mm. but the quality, mm. the concept is much more important. Mm. Yeah. If you can produce a pen, oh, okay, another one also can appear. Yeah, it's quality, yeah. price. Yeah. And another one, like our, our company, we go another step. Mm. We would like to do more for the world, yeah. for the for people, yeah, yeah. for the earth. Yeah. And this is really cool because you know I just came into Office Supplies booth mm. and I'm like, you know what, I want to find something interesting. And even though we're like five rows in, I stopped at your booth because you have very, very nice display on the outside. You explained what your products are doing. It's making an impact in the environment. You have very nice, colorful products, everything displayed nicely. So immediately I was drawn to your company. So I think you have also good experience, you know, you. that you, you're able to draw in the customers as well as like having a, a very good uh, purpose as well, right? Because yes, we can sell products, but we can also make an impact in the environment. And I learned a lot from you as well from you know about the app and about the the, diff the four different types of plastic mm. so it's really really cool what you're doing and you know for someone who is looking for a, a recycled pen supplier mm. online uh, on like an online website they're not going to be able to use and touch and feel the products and get to know you mm. and learn about the production process and all the different types of plastic those conversations just are very very hard to have online but by coming to the fair mm. we can uh, you know meet each other, get to know each other for the first time, talk about what type of business we do, what customers we supply, mm. what sort of innovations are on the products, place orders, arrange samples, mm. go for dinner together, all that yeah. sort of stuff. So yeah. that's why I love coming here and it's great yeah. to, to meet someone like yourself. So thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. And thanks for showing us around uh, the booth as well. Do you still find big factories that are willing to work with smaller companies? Yeah, yeah for, for sure, for sure. So I, I think you've got options because your business is definitely gonna grow, right? Mm -hmm. So as, as it grows, you need more access to those bigger factories. Anyway, some of them will be very accommodating right now and some won't be, but the important thing is to start the communication and the, and the dialogue now, because you might, end up, you, you might end up using them in like two years time. Yeah. And then you can say, hey, remember I was the one that saw you at the Canton Fair back in 2023. Right. And they're like, oh, cool. So they kind of like, you have a bit of like history with them, if you know yeah. what I mean. And then the smaller ones are willing to like grind and work hard for you and all that sort of stuff. But they might not also, as you said, have the right certifications that you want. So it's very much like a balancing act of yeah. talk to the big ones, talk to the small ones, and then you'll find one in the middle, which is more suited to your needs right now. But as you grow and scale, then other ones will be more suited to your requirements. So I would just make the most of your time here and just talk to as many people as possible, get as many catalogs, get as many name cards, take photos with them all yeah. and then and then email them all and then attach your photo, be like, hey, remember, and yeah. then, uh, and then you, you'll be set because whatever new product inquiry you have or new order, you just send it out to these guys and then they'll, they'll take you very, very seriously. Okay. Well, show in the video and I will ask you the question. Oh, so I just talked to the video? Yeah, so yeah. I don't talk to you? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, I've been attending the Canton Fair since 2010, so this is my 20... Second Canton Fair, one of the happiest places on earth for me. This is not only a place to do business and uh, build and grow your business together, but it's also a place to come and meet friends, which you'll have uh, for the rest of your life as well. Canton Fair Global Share. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so, thank you so much. much. Hello, producer. 
Oh, you're a producer? Yeah, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Very professional. Cool. How many interviews have you done today? You are the first one. Oh, I'm the first one? Oh, cool, cool. Good to know. The first and the best. One final thing I want to leave you with is just the mindset to have when you're here in the fair is uh, just have fun with it. Like you are here to meet new people, do business, and uh, they are very, very keen to work with you as well. So don't be nervous, don't be shy. Just go into as many booths as you can, talk to as many people as you like. If you have your product category, like let's say you're into fishing, and you're, you're just doing this for the first time and you don't necessarily want to start there, go to a completely unrelated category, go to maybe pets and talk to them, talk to the suppliers, pretend like you want to buy a product, just get build up your confidence. Um, but essentially, you are the buyer, you are the decision maker, you're choosing what product you want to source, then you're paying your hard earned money as a deposit to that factory to get going. So never feel obliged to work with someone, never feel under pressure to work with someone. This is completely your call, have fun with it, you're gonna build and grow and you're gonna have a lot of fun along the way, so just enjoy yourself. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this quick little demo and walkthrough of the Canton Fair. You know, we met some of my previous suppliers that I've worked with for many years, and we met some new suppliers as well. And we looked at some new products, we talked to some people who are just in the Canton Fair for the first time. So I hope this has painted a good picture for you guys of what you're capable of achieving by coming to the Canton Fair here in China, developing your products, developing your business, taking it to the next level. So thank you very much Canton Fair for having me, and I hope to see you guys at the next show. If you want to learn more about this, check out the links in the description down below, and I'll see you guys at the next Canton Fair.